Hi, I'm Michael. Welcome to Diaries of a Board Game YouTuber for Monday the 27th of March 2017. So, it's been a busy week and I got seven videos up in the end. We had a review of Unlock. This is one of the many escape room games coming out at the moment. This is one from Space Cowboy and I really enjoyed it. Um, if you want to learn more about the game, go check my review, but you won't see anything about the game because I can't show you it without spoiling it. But I'll talk more about the pros and cons of the game in general and I think they really apply to all escape room games. Then we had Aircon Board Game Room 101. Now if you don't know what Room 101 is, it's a show in the UK where they get people on and they go, what do you want to get rid of into this box, this Room 101 where it goes and you will never see it again. And this was a board game version of that, and it was recorded live at Aircon. I was one of the six panellists. Uh, so we had uh, Gaming Rules, Polyhedron Collider, Cult of the New, Broken Meeple. So tons of people involved. Do go take a look at that if you want to find out what everyone nominated to put into the room, how people voted. You know, feel free to let me know in the comments what you thought of it, what you would have put in as well. Uh, another thing that went up this week was during Aircon again, there was a quiz all about board games. So there was like picture rounds, first rule rounds, all sorts of different things. And I recorded the quiz so you can play along as the people who are at the convention were able to play the quiz. You can play along with that. And at the end, there's the answer so you can mark your quiz and see how you do. So uh, hopefully you'll do better than I did. Um, then also I had the paid preview for Realm Master. So this is a game about chucking dice, hitting each other, sort of um, King of Tokyo-esque, but this has a very fantasy theme, you can't re-roll your dice as many times, and there's other things you can do to kind of mitigate the dice, and you each have special powers. So yeah, there's that. Uh, what else we got? Uh, Mana Forge uh, paid preview also went up. So Mana Forge um, had an unsuccessful Kickstarter last year. Um, I was really interested in that. I, I did want to back it. I did want to back it, but I didn't have the money. It just looked really awesome, really interesting. Um, so I was really pleased to be able to do a video for the new Kickstarter launch, which is on Kickstarter now. The game is just this really interesting, puzzly game. Again, it involves rolling dice, but then it's how you use those dice, what you choose to do with them, that really the interest in this game is. And it's got this fantasy setting about building magical items, which doesn't hugely come through in the gameplay, but what it does mean is you've got great fantasy artwork, which I do love. So, yeah, Mana Forge, do check that out. Um, what else we got? Uh, Review Wars Best Abstract Game. So, last week we had the nominations. This week we have the winner. So, if you want to find out who was voted as the best, check out that video. Then, finally, we had Magmeda Monsters Review. Another game gone up on Kickstarter. This is a card dueling type game where you're battling each other. A uh, few things different to your typical card dueling game, though, so you might want to take a look at the review and see what you think. So, as I said, a lot done this week. It's been a very busy week. Then, what has the result of this been? Well, the Kickstarter, let's start there because it's pretty important for the channel, frankly, that the Kickstarter does well. So we're going to start the Kickstarter £2,217. So we're just over the hump on that next uh, stretch goal there. So we've just passed the um, backer polls for a game to be featured. So there'll be two polls. Um, in the latest update, I've kind of asked for feedback on when they would like those polls. I think around Essen would be a good time for one of them, if not both of them potentially, because so much gets released at Essen. So it'll be interesting to see what other people think. We're currently at 118 backers. We've got 10 days left. So, you know, if you want to back, there's still time. Please do help support the channel and keep it going. Then Facebook. So we've had Facebook 61 weeks. We're up to 2,578 likes. So this is a drop on last week with regards to the number of likes this week. But it's still, it's a good amount of growth and it's still continuing to grow, which is great to see. 
Then, same thing with Twitter, really. Uh, 64 weeks we've got Twitter, 9,912 followers. So, as I say, down, but still a good increase, and I'm really happy with where we're going at the moment. Then YouTube, 66 weeks the channel has been going now. So it's getting a bit redundant talking about weeks when you're saying those. It might as well be, you know, number of months at this point might be a bit more helpful. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. I might actually change that for the next Diaries video. We'll see. Um, so yeah, anyway, subs, 4,021. Yes, we've passed 4,000 subs. This is fantastic. We're doing so well as a channel. And it's all thanks to you, the viewers, and the support that you are giving, and the interaction, viewing, everything you do helps the channel. And I'm so pleased for that. Uh, so yeah, that was um, down a bit on last week. Um, but again, it's slightly increase on what we see on social media. So it's it's a good sign, I feel. I feel it's a sign that it's not all coming from the same place. It's not all being driven by the same thing. We are seeing actual growth there, which is good. Uh, views. 183,488 views we're up to. So this week that was about 5,500. Much more than last week. Well, not much more. It's kind of 500-ish, a bit over more than last week so that's around the level I want to be seeing at the moment and I'm really pleased with that I'm pleased that we are seeing that and it's interesting that it keeps being those videos that are have been around for a while manage to get into the public eye they're the ones that are driving this really you know okay Pirate Republic did well this week the videos but that's not the bulk of that amount of views. Yes, it did well. It did have a good number of views. I think it had about 800 views this week in total, the two Pirate Republic videos. That's 800 out of 5,500. The rest is coming from things like... The, the I spoke ages and ages ago about these evergreen videos, and I kept going on about them, and I kind of just stopped. But it is still those evergreen videos, those ones that are coming up in searches because people are watching them, they come up in searches. Because they come up in searches, people watch them. Because, And it's just this cycle, and you've just got to get the video into public eye, get people watching it enough for it to come up in those searches. And that's where the channel is struggling. And so it's these specific videos that I just see time and time again. Time Stories, uh, Super Dungeon Explore, Boss Monster 2. You know, it's those videos. And they're great. They're helping promote the channel and get the views and hopefully get people aware of the channel and watching other videos on the channel. But I need to find a way to get more videos pushed into that evergreen category, really. So if you have any advice, I'm always welcome for any comments or suggestions down in, well, the comments section. That's what it's there for, really. Um, then, new arrivals. I had one new arrival this week, which was Monster Trap. Now, this is a family co-op game. Um, I've not really had a chance to play it yet, but I think the artwork's pretty cute. I think it will really appeal to families. It's going to be coming on Kickstarter, I think, in May. So you'll be able to see more on that soon. Speaking of coming soon, what's coming this week? Well, the plan, and I did pretty well last week keeping to the plan. Week before that, not so much, but last week I did pretty well. So let's see how we do this week. We've got the Gloom of Killforth demo that was recorded at Aircon. So this is going to be another bad audio I'm really sorry about the aircon audio, guys. Without a sound investment... Huh. Uh, that pun wasn't intended. Um, I just meant as in a good amount of investment on audio equipment. I'm not going to be able to do good audio in busy spaces like that. So... I don't really know what I'm going to do with regards to the next convention, which is UKG coming up in roughly 10 weeks time that I'm really looking forward to. But with regards to recording there, I'm not sure how good that will be. What do you think about? Do you, do you actually, are you interested in recordings from conferences? That would be something to know. You know, I just want to get a bit more convo, a bit more interaction with you guys. So, you know, just do kind of reply and let's have a conversation in the comments. Uh, other videos, uh, Clio Cards, we're also going to have a demo of that. 
so I mentioned Gloom of Killforth. That's like a fantasy adventure game. Um, Kaleido Cards. Gloom of Killforth has already had a Kickstarter. Um, so its Kickstarter is fulfilling soon. Kaleido Cards is a game system using colour cards where the cards are different colours and they've got words that are different colours really actually quite interesting and different so I would suggest you actually take a look at that demo and that's one that's going to be coming to Kickstarter uh, I don't know the date on that one I think it's coming in the next month or two uh, then hopefully I'm going to finally have up my Dice of Crowns review so this is a little tin game that's like um, how to describe it? Take that dice rolling, push your luck game, really. Um, yeah, so this should hopefully be the review of that as well. So that's probably enough of my yammerings for one week. Thank you for watching. Do check out the other videos, do subscribe, share, etc. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.